Good morning folks. Today's soap is brought to us from Victory Shaving. And the name of this one here is Satan's Workshop. Yeah, Satan's Workshop. It's after a bomber. That's what all the bombs are about. During, is a bomber during World War II. And the scent profile on this one here is vetiver, lavender, and woods. That's what the back looks like. Starts out with four ounces in a uh, tin with a screw top lid. And that's what it looks like. You can see I've already been scraping out of it. It's firm in the inside the uh, container here, but it's relatively easy to scoop out, put in a bowl, and whip it up in a nice lather. Got it whipped up here in a Crown King scuttle. The uh, brush is a uh, Yaki brush. I've had this one for a while. They have one listed now that looks just like this one except for they say you have a cashmere knot as opposed to a bore knot and uh, so there is a bit of a difference but I've got the link down below if you're interested especially this handles uh, I like the color scheme on the handle and the uh, fact that the um, uh, had a bore knot in it that's what I was after got the uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements uh, Allen Block no rubber band getting pretty tiny getting kind of hard to hold on to. I have Humphrey's Witch Hazel that's got menthol and peppermint in it now and decided to follow up today with the uh, topper of the day I guess you might say Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Lavender and Cedar kind of goes along with the uh, scent profile of the soap comes close and it's not an exact match by any means and um, I'll go ahead and go through all this now this is a, uh, this is by the way of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is an Alpha Elliptic uh, Slant Razor. This one's made out of Bakelite. And so it weighs about three quarters of an ounce. And as you can see, it is a very unique design. It's patterned off a of vintage razor. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, I'll go ahead and take this apart because I think it's kind of important to show that when it comes to the blade loading it is uh the blade loading the blade itself is quite all right nothing to it loads just like it does with any other shaver that's a de thing is is that this base plate only goes on one way so in other words if you try to put it on this is the right way and if you turn it it's not going to work for you so that is something to be aware of it only goes on one way. Now, as it goes for shaving with it, I found that to a degree, uh, I do adjust my shaving just a tiny bit. Um, it seems to be more comfortable sometimes to shave with this pointing in a particular direction, and that's just me. Your experience might be somewhat different, but outside of that, um, this shaver here has uh, this is the angle that you're wanting to keep it at. So once you get accustomed to keeping it at that angle, it shaves pretty smooth, even with a uh, feather blade. This will be my second shave with this shaver this week, as well as second shave on that blade there. I've already put a hot towel to the face. Coconut oil for the pre-shave. Go ahead and get started here. But uh, it is a very efficient shaver, even with a uh, feather blade in it. Uh, you can, there's a blade feel to it, but it's it's not to the point where you knew that you were shaving with a feather blade. It's just that you could feel the blade as it was working its way through the whiskers. Pretty smooth shaver. Since it is lightweight, um, if you're accustomed to a heavyweight sh shaver like this slant here, <laughs> um, you're going to probably have to pay attention to your pressure. Uh, that's going to be one of the keys to get a smooth shave with this particular shaver because you don't want to bear down on it, put too much pressure on it. This is one of those shavers that if you get your pressure off it, you're going to notice it. You're going to, in other words, it's going <laughs> to, the color of that, that razor is the, for a reason. You're going to end up bleeding most likely if you get your pressure to, uh, you know, it's just got to be gentle pressure. 
can't be happy with it, in other words. Very nice tent this morning. Found out, I was talking to my wife last night about the scent on the, uh, on the soap. And I think I found out, we probably put the finger on it. I think she likes vetiver. I think that's what's, uh, <laughs> what we've been figuring out with all the soaps and aftershaves and whatnot. There is just a little feedback, not a whole lot. Pretty smooth shave. Yesterday's, um, I had just a little bit of stinging from the aloe block over here on my cheek, but outside of that, it was, a, I mean, just a really nice shave. I guess um, it was a good comparison uh, from, I guess you might say, what you might expect typically out of a slant to something not so typical. <laughs> Now this does come, this one here is Bakelite, it does come in an aluminum form, um, big price difference of course. Uh, this one here sells for I think 20 bucks, like $19.99, and I think the aluminum one, is it $79.99, trying to remember, don't remember right off the top of my head, it's about 80 bucks if I remember right. But you are talking about going from plastic to metal, so I would expect a price difference. And a very unique design. I've had my eye on and been considering and thinking if I want to get the aluminum one or not. Comes in two different colors. It'd be, I guess you might say, like an antique gold and a blue. And the blue is a, more like a, let's say, a, like a satin blue or a matte blue. It's not a super bright, bright blue or anything quite like that. By the way, I picked up this um, soap from Victory Shaven when it was on sale over um, Veterans Day holiday. Really nice scent. My nose is picking up on it pretty well. The uh, soap that I shaved with yesterday was um, named that one there was Red Tail. And that was uh, in, in case you might say, in reference to the Tuskegee, uh, Tuskegee uh, Airmen. I enjoy the artwork on the, uh, on the tins. Tomorrow's a big football game for a Broken Arrow. They're playing a Wasso, which is uh, undefeated, and uh, tonight, and then they're doing they're playing the game on Saturday as opposed to Friday. And the uh, festivities for tonight is a bonfire. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Because it's been raining. <laughs> it started out at one point, you know, light rain, easy going rain. And then later on, some more clouds moved in. It started thunder, lightning, and then of course, you know, the rain got heavy. Kind of made me think of uh, tonight. Uh, that bonfire might, might have some issues. It depends. I have to look at the... Uh, uh, I guess you might say the hourly to see if uh, it's changed any in the timing. Of 
course with Oklahoma weather sometimes it's hour by hour, minute by minute. Not the easiest job to predict the, to predict the weather around here. I mean it is November and we've got thunder, lightning and storm. It wasn't major or anything like that but you know it is November. Doesn't happen very often, but every, we do get uh, snow with uh, thunder. <laughs> this is a good color, uh, scent combination. I like this. Seems to be hitting the nose just right, in other words. Which is pretty good considering my nose. Now my experience with this shaver is that it didn't take a whole lot to get used to the uh, to the angle. The fact that this is shaped so different, it sets on the on the on the handle at an angle. The humped up part on the cap, all this is very unique. Uh, not very many shavers are made like that in you know modern day, so. As long as you don't let that mentally get a hold of your head, I guess you might say just pay attention to pressure and angle. You might be kind of surprised on what you get out of a $20 razor. I think I found that tender spot right about there on my cheek. Must have got pressure off wrong yesterday or something. Typically that's not an issue under my cheek. I do um, from time to time and it doesn't happen very often especially depending upon what I'm shaving with. But back in the day when I was shaving with a cartridge though right here was a really bad spot for me. In other words, it's fairly common to end up with uh, a sore spot, bleeding. I'm not talking about a little bit of blood either. It was uh, pretty much wholesale in the whole area. Some people might re refer to it as a road rash or a strawberry or something like that. Just that whole area right there would do that with a cartridge razor. Back when I didn't have a clue <laughs> on how to shave. <laughs> Of course, material back then was, you know, far and in between. YouTube was not up and running. No such thing as a Google. Back in the 70s, in other words. <laughs> Poche feels pretty nice. Got a pretty smooth phase this morning. Did yesterday, too. It just... You get a really nice shape with this razor. Like I say, you just got to pay, you know, a certain amount of attention to the, to the pressure and keep that angle consistent with the, uh, the top of that head, and it does a good job. Guess you might say once you master that as well as find your favorite, what works best, blade wise, married up with this shaver, you'd be, be kind of surprised what kind of shaves you'd get. Yep, right there. Still a little tender from yesterday. I must have got my pressure and angle off or something right there yesterday. Then, of course, you know, you don't, sometimes you notice it while you're shaving, sometimes you don't. I didn't notice it yesterday. I thought it was going pretty good. Got the witch hazel here. Sometimes it just has me scratching my head, what did I do wrong? <laughs> of course, you know, it is a feather blade, so if you get your you know, get your pressure and angle off a little bit with a razor like this. Uh, it's going to let you know about it. But to be quite honest with you, it do, in my opinion, it doesn't, the shape does not feel like I've got a feather blade in it. That's the, uh, the thing that I find that's really unique about this shaver, is that even with a feather blade, it does not feel 
like a feather blade like I let's say if I put it in a Gillette uh, red flare tip um, and usually you know a feather blade and a shaver like that you know you got a feather blade in it this one here I, I, I don't feel that way it just how can you say it feels like a blade this is uh, I have to say this is one of my favorites it comes really close to being a match for this so it, of course it's missing the vetiver but you know with the uh, lavender and the cedar it's got lavender and woods cedar being a wood of course it is missing the vetiver but it comes pretty darn close this is one of those aftershaves I was wanting to use anyway I've got a few more this time of the year anything coffee scented and uh, it was really high on my uh, want to use list upcoming shave um, thinking on Sunday if if the blade has a decent edge on it I got a uh, straight razor here recently uh, it'd been on eBay for a, a moment and the price dropped and what it is is that it's a case of red imp that the tip got damaged at some point in time in its life and uh, it uh, got shortened up different set of scales to match the length of the, the razor so now the it's a short straight razor if the edge is halfway decent I think I'm going to do a shave on Sunday if not Sunday Monday but most likely Sunday I'll do a shave with it see how the a shortened length works for me as opposed to the I guess you might say standard length at any rate hope everybody's doing well stay dry <laughs> enjoy your shaves